What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the 10,000 Hours Project. It's currently a Thursday morning and I am very sore actually. We had a really intense conditioning session last night with Cairns FC and my legs are absolutely dead. I was going to be training five times a week this week. Yeah, it's not happening. Now you won't be getting much training footage, but I've got something a little different in today's vlog. You're actually going to meet some of my teammates from Cairns FC, ask them a few questions, how they came about Cairns FC, and just a whole bunch of content that you might find interesting from other semi-professional footballers. Anyway, so the plan for today is to have a bit of recovery session from last night, just to get that lactic acid out of our legs. We're going to head into Cairns City and have a little swim, have a little kick about on the beach. Probably looking to go somewhere for coffee and lunch afterwards. Anyways, here we go. Today for a recovery day after a hard training session last night. So here we've got Joe and Gianni. Hi. All right, so Joe, give us a little bit of background of how you ended up at Cairns FC and give us the background of your career so far. Uh, so I'm a Canadian. Uh, played soccer back home. Played in university for four years in Queens, um, in Canada. Uh, played professionally with Kingston FC in the Canadian Soccer League, and um, went and moved on to League One Ontario with Durham United. Uh, after a year with Durham, I got signed in NPL Tasmania, played there for a year, which is where I was able to uh, get the connection with Danny Greystone, the head coach of uh, Kids, and, uh, and now I'm here, in paradise. Yeah, I'm loving it, eh? That's gonna be hard to beat. Yeah, I'm that's gonna be hard to beat. Give me a sec, I need to organize Yeah, that's right, that's right. I'll take another few minutes with Joe. All right, Joe, how old are you and uh, what position do you play? I'm a 25 year old center half. Yeah, nice. All right, last question. What advice would you give to young aspiring footballers? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I often think of what I sort of tell a 14 year old being. Um, I guess my, my one piece of advice would be always to have achievable goals uh, that you can actually work towards. Uh, and don't measure your own achievements up against somebody else's. I think it's really important that you uh, take pride in what you've done. I mean, I can look at what, what we're at here and say, oh, we're only working in Australia, I'm not playing in, in England or I'm not playing in Europe. But if you look around, uh, there's not many more places that are rather being. So uh, don't measure your achievements against other people and, uh, and have achievable goals. Lovely interview. Give him a clap, give him a clap. Well, enjoy. <laughs> no, I need you to just cover that by some <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so moving on, so we've got another teammate here, Gianni. How are you going, man? No, not bad, man, not bad. Not bad, not bad? Yeah? Alright, ready? Yeah, I'm not. Alright, alright. So give us a little background about yourself and how you ended up at Cairns FC. Uh, well, I'm a chicken born. Like my other teammate here said, 
Exactly. Exactly. Hey, just one thing, guys. Connections are everything. You know, half of it's football and training and, and a lot of that stuff, but the other half is having those connections and having, you know, they can give you the right opportunities. And uh, you know, on, on top of that, mate, if, if you're a good person, you have a great personality. You know, and, you know, you're always going to do well, and you're always going to find people that will, you know, try help you. So it's a good thing to do. Always smile. Alright, so how old are you and uh, what position do you play? Well, I'm 21 years old and I'm an attacking midfielder. Sometimes I find the win as well. So, yeah. Versatile, eh? Yeah, versatile. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. And what advice would you give to young aspiring footballers? Well, the advice that Joe gave was already, you know, was uh, I'm not going to beat that, but um, I would say that no matter. You know how many times you, you do fail or something's not going your way, it's always gonna set you up to you know to be better as a person in the future. So you, know, you learn from you're, you're not gonna become a successful person if you don't fail. So you learn from your failures, from your failures, and uh, yeah, just never give up. Always keep going, and uh, that's it. That's the best advice I can give you. Yeah. That's very good to you guys. All right, so just got back from lunch with the boys. It was a great little bonding session, great recovery session as well. My legs feel a little better, but they are still a bit sore. Also, I'll give you a link to Joe's and Gianni's Instagram profiles down in the description below. And you can check them out, give them a follow. It's now around about 3 p.m. in the Arvo. Honestly, I don't have much going on. I've just got to do a little bit of coaching this afternoon, probably working on my new website. I've also got my most recent match footage from my game against Sunshine Coast. So hopefully I'll be able to do a game analysis and hopefully that'll be published over the next couple of days. I've got a training session with Cairns FC on Friday night and basically it's going to be going through uh, game situational, uh, tactical plays and methods. Anyway, we've got a big game coming up against Brisbane Raw youth grade, so hopefully I'll be able to get some match footage off that game as well. It's a home game at Barlow Park. And hopefully I can get on the starting lineup again this Sunday. Anyways, until then, I'll see you on the next vlog. I'll catch you later.